Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to share with you guys my favorites from the month of May. Um, I don't have very many and I do have quite a bit of variety here. Um, they're all pretty much makeup related and beauty related, um, but I'm excited. I really enjoy favorites videos. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with these beauty tools that I have been loving. They are from the Shop Miss A website. Now, please don't mind me, all of mine are dirty right now, but I purchased three sponges from the Shop Miss A website. Um, the, they are all pretty much from the like Paw Paw line um, and they are absolutely amazing. I can probably link them down below because I know that, you know, Shop Miss A um, it does have these currently I'm pretty sure but these sponges are so soft and so bouncy and once you wet, wet them they just they increase like a little bit but they are so soft I think that is the main thing at first I was a little bit worried because um, this happens to my Ofra sponge that whenever I wet it like sometimes I can actually feel like the foam kind of like um almost like it, it's like this weird feeling like it, it, it's almost as if like the foam is like sticking into one place in the sponge and my Ofra sponge does that and I really don't like that about it and so I was really worried that these were going to do that too because it was doing that whenever I was actually washing it and so whenever it dried down a little bit and it wasn't as damp I noticed that it just went back to its original shape which I really was happy about because like I said my Ofra one does that and I really don't like that about that sponge I feel like the dose of color dose of colors one also kind of does that and this one has just continued to keep its shape so I really like the regular like teardrop shape but then I also like this one where it kind of comes to that edge here um, because this reminds me a lot of the real techniques and I love that sponge and then this one is a different shape in comparison to all of them and it's this really cute coral color you can't really tell but um, yeah so I absolutely love all of those I know that you can also buy a pack of like seven or eight of them I think and it's not that expensive to be honest so I personally really love those sponges so the next thing from shop miss a is actually this 10 piece eye brush set and this was ten dollars so it is like you're getting each brush for one dollar which is amazing and these brushes are so like are such great quality you guys um, my favorite one is the e127 it's just this fluffy eye blending brush and this is what I love to use to just start with my eyeshadow look and go in with a crease color and just blend it all into the crease. I really love this one. Um, and all of them are just so soft. And I haven't washed them yet, so I don't know how they're going to wash and how they're going to dry. But I'm very confident. I mean, the packaging does not feel cheap by any means. Um, it feels like, you know, my Morphe brushes, um, my Sigma brushes, things like that. So... I think it should be fine, but I am just so impressed with these brushes, and they are all white-haired brush brushes, so keep that in mind. I know some people prefer, you know, black brushes or white brushes or, like, synthetic or whatever, so um, I will also link this down below. I also like that it comes with the lid, and then you can basically like clasp it on the sides and then now you have it perfect for traveling so I really liked it they also come in black and so if you want something just a little bit more standard but I could not resist getting the pink so I really have been enjoying all of the products that I've gotten from Shop Miss A. So moving on just sticking with beauty tools I wanted to mention this little roller ball that I have um, for the face and I actually got this from Dollar Tree you guys so it's only one dollar it's really really small um, it's not double ended like the ones that you tend to see like on Instagram um, but this is really great just to kind of get that same effect and I don't have a skin fridge I would love to have one but right now I just don't really have the room for one um, but this just keeping it on my vanity or on my makeup desk overnight it does get cool enough with the AC and everything so um, this still feels really refreshing in the morning and at night whenever I'm just kind of like trying to work in my skincare a little bit more so I really love this it's really great for underneath the eyes um, and it's only one dollar so if you are not wanting to spend 20 30 40 dollars on one 
Um, I do recommend first looking at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, of course, if, if yours is open and if you feel comfortable going out. Um, but if not, Dollar Tree does have this one. Hopefully they still have it because um, I know that Dollar Tree tends to really rotate through their stuff pretty quickly. Um, but I was able to find this for $1 and it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so moving on into makeup. So um, I wasn't going to mention this, but I, I figured I would. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. And I have the shade Porcelain Beige. And I have really used a whole bunch of this, as you guys can probably see here. But this is such a great product, you guys. Um, I didn't think it was going to work out for me um, as well as I as as well as it does. But this is more of a product that I use for foundation. So the reason that I love this so much is I had two outdoor events for work this month, and it is really hot where I live. I live in Texas, and so it's already starting to get really warm outside. And I use this because I know that this is very lightweight, but it gives me great coverage without having to go in heavy handed because it's supposed to neutralize and correct because it's a type of cream like that. And so I love that. I love this for days like that. So for instance, maybe if I know I'm going to be outside all day or if I'm going like maybe, you know, like that work event, things like that. So I know that I'm going to get that coverage, but I'm not having to layer on an entire foundation. So I absolutely love this. And the staying power is amazing. Like I was wearing a mask, of course, and um, I wasn't having like any issues of it, like fading away or things like that. Of course, over time it would because I was sweating and things like that. But Honestly, it is really good and it is pretty pricey, but I think if you are someone who has rosacea or maybe you just have mild redness that you struggle with, um, you can definitely use this before going in with foundation and it does work beautifully that way. I just know personally that my skin doesn't do well with layering up products because it tends to get really cakey on me and so I like to use this just as a foundation. So I highly recommend this and if you are someone who can tolerate the um, layering of products, I think this would work out really great for you. So I have been loving this, just falling, basically rediscovering it and re-falling in love with it. The next product is actually a product that I got per Jessica Braun's recommendation. The product that she raves about all the time on her channel that I had to go out and purchase is this powder from number seven. This is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. And I have the shade Light. This is what it looks like. Here we go. Okay. So it is just a translucent powder, a pressed powder, and she says that she uses this underneath her eyes. And so I wanted to purchase it because I absolutely love under eye setting powder. I love a powder that really smooths and filters underneath the eyes. And so I purchased this and I did find mine in store at Target. So that was definitely a plus because I didn't want to have to order it from Amazon or anything like that. Um, but this powder is really, really nice. Um, I, I would say, I don't know if it's better than my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder because I absolutely love that one and it is like really cheap compared to this one because this was still, I think, $13 for a pressed powder from the drugstore, which is still a little bit pricey. So I think the Essence one is better in my eyes just because Essence is so much more cheaper and because that one does work well. However, this one is still really, really nice. And if you are someone who already loves number seven and maybe you just haven't tried this, I definitely recommend it. It does a really great job at smoothing the under eye and also just kind of creating like a light filter, but it also sets the under eyes beautifully as well. I don't notice any problems with it as far as um, like looking crepey underneath the eyes. I always have like fine lines under there. I've had them forever, like these fine lines, wrinkles underneath my eyes. So it doesn't like not let the concealer crease. Like I always have that problem, but the powder makes my under eye just look overall smooth and just a little bit better, if that makes sense. So I really do like this powder and I'm very thankful for Jessica for recommending it. Um, of course, she didn't recommend it to me personally. She doesn't even know who I am, <laughs> but I do watch her videos and she does talk about this powder a lot. So I'm glad I picked it up. So I just have three more items to go. So the next item is actually a concealer and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before on my channel, but this is the e.l.f. Hydrating um, Camo Concealer. And I absolutely hate the shade that I got. I literally picked up the shade Fair Warm. I feel like it was like the very first shade in the spectrum, but 
I just picked it up and I make it work, but I really enjoy this formula. I do feel that the original 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. is a little bit drying. Um, I still use it. It's nowhere near as drying as like Tarte Shape Tape or anything like that, but it still is a little bit drying and I do love the finish of this hydrating one. Um, this is a concealer that I feel like I reach for over other concealers so often whenever I'm doing my makeup. And I have incorporated my Shop My Stash again here on my channel, so definitely check out that video. I will try and link it or put it up in the cards for you to watch it. But I am working on, you know, my Shop My Stash again, so I do have a current concealer that I'm using. However, when I was just kind of like playing around with makeup, um, you know, during this quarantine and, and not really doing a Shop My Stash because I was just wanting to like have fun and everything, I was reaching for this one quite a bit. So... I really like this. Um, it's definitely a formula that um, isn't for everyone, but I do like it. And I also think that it's at a great price that for you, if you want to try it out, um, that, you know, it's not a huge risk. And if you don't end up liking it, it's also not a huge risk because you didn't spend like too much on it. So um, I really do like this one. If you are in the market for a new concealer, um, definitely check this one out. So the next product is a product I've had in my collection for a while. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their contour makeup stick. And I have the shade Oaks on You. Now, this is just like a regular cream bronzer. I don't really use it. Well, I guess I use it more for both a contour and a bronzer. Not so much contour, more so bronzer. But anyways, um, I use this kind of like interchangeably with my Milk Makeup one because I have... Um, those two like cream bronzers in my collection. I also have one from Natasha Denona in a palette, but besides the point, I was pulling out this one quite a bit because I hadn't used it in a while and I forgot how much I really love this product. It brings such a beautiful like sun bathed look to your skin. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but it is such a beautiful shade of bronze on the skin and it's a little bit warmer than my Milk Makeup one. Um, however, I, I just really like the way that this blends out on my skin. I still love my Milk Makeup one a lot. However, if you don't want to spend the money on the Milk Makeup one, which I totally get, I really think that you should try out this Wet n Wild one. And again, I have the shade Oaks on You. They have some other shades as well, but I've heard from many others um, that Oaks on You is more comparable to the Milk Makeup one. Um, and I'm talking about the shade Baked because that's the one that I have personally. I know that they have another shade Blaze and that is more for um, deeper skin tones. So that is available. And I don't know if Wet n Wild has one on the deeper end. Um, they probably do, but um, I think they might have two or three shades of these cream contour sticks. But definitely check it out. But Oaks on You is more comparable to the Baked shade from Milk Makeup. And I just really love this. And for the price, it's amazing. And um, not only that, the Milk Makeup one comes with so much product. So if you're someone who knows that you're not going to go through an entire, you know, Milk Makeup bronzer stick, like maybe get this Wet n Wild one just to kind of get your cream bronzer slash cream contour fix. So I have really loved this one and I'm super happy to continue using it. So my last item is actually from Ofra, and I did update you guys in a haul that I did um, where I talked about just some new makeup that I had purchased, and I talked about the Ofra and Samantha March collection. I didn't purchase the entire collection. I purchased the blush, the highlighter, and the lip duo, and I love everything. Don't get me wrong, but my favorite thing has to be the chiclet blush. Um, it is a blush duo, so it does have a more like illuminating blush topper type situation and then a matte blush on the other side. This, I'm going to tell you right now, like I am a blush addict. I love blush. It's my favorite part of makeup besides eyeshadow. And I like love this so much because it is like bam, boom, intensity. Like it is a lot of blush, but I love that. And so it is just so stunning. I absolutely love mixing everything together. I pretty much just place my brush right here in the center and it is just so stunning on the cheeks and it does last a fairly good amount of time. I wouldn't say it lasts like all day or anything, but 
it is really beautiful and because it is more shimmery you may not have to go in with highlighter i still do because i love highlight however if you're someone who is fearful of like highlighter emphasizing texture or things like that you can maybe just use this blush so i have really been loving this i love everything in the collection but the blush is my favorite by far so that is everything that i was loving this month it wasn't too much but i kind of like that because whenever People talk about like tons of products. It's like, okay, what did they really try though? You know what I mean? Like, so these are products that I really genuinely have been loving and some even like this Jade Roller, I've been using for like months and months, but I've never mentioned it. So I thought I would, but I use that every single day. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I hope you consider subscribing also before you go. I would love to have you here and I look forward to interacting with each and every one of you in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.